welcome back children to our sixth video for chapter 9 tourism transport and communication and today we start with the next topic and the last topic for us and that's communication and today we'll study the basics about communication mainly keeping in mind local time standard time okay now unless now we need to remember that whenever we want to communicate with somebody internationally in another place okay we always have to keep in we can't just pick up the phone and call someone because we need to understand that their time differs from ours in india okay so keeping in mind india the places to the east of india okay like maybe uh, singapore malaysia australia they will all be ahead of indian time and all the countries to the west of india like the european countries brazil usa canada these countries are behind time as compared with india okay now what do i mean by all this this i will uh, explain to you very very soon okay but that's the basics what you need to keep in mind if any country is to the east they are ahead if any place is to the west then they are behind time for example now it's 11 o'clock here okay in india now 11 o'clock in the night okay i'm making this video now at 11 in the night now is it the right time to call people in australia no people in australia they are five and a half hours ahead of us okay so what's the time there then 12 1 2 3 3 30 okay in a 4 4 4 to 4 30 in the morning okay so they are having the last uh, beautiful sleep for the night so we cannot disturb them can we call people in usa now now usa is nine hours behind us okay so behind our time so if it's 11 here then it is 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 in the afternoon almost okay so yes we can call them but they will find it difficult to call us because many of you will be sleeping at this time okay so that is the reason why in communication we need to understand the time the local time the standard time etc which we studied in the ninth standard so basically it's a revision of the ninth standard so before starting just a minute okay so before taking this we have an activity here on uh, give it a try one minute it's on one of these pages here i think page 65 okay now though it is not for 2020 21 but if you see page 66 depends on understanding this activity without understanding this activity you will not be able to answer any of the questions which are there in the latter part okay so a little part on page 65 has been cancelled that is give it a try and try this try this only one paragraph is cancelled up till the two points in minutes that much but the latter part is there okay with the question answers related to the map 9.12 so does it make sense leaving this part not at all okay so let's continue with this part now what is local time now we need to understand the time does the time depend on longitudes or latitudes it depends on longitudes longitudes are the lines joining from north pole to south pole semicircular lines north pole to south pole and what are uh, latitudes then latitudes are running in circles parallels okay all around the earth starting from equator at zero degree then 10 20 30 40 up till north pole that is 90 degrees so these are parallel circular lines running around the globe but longitudes a semicircular line going from north pole to south pole north pole to south pole and how many longitudes do we have 180 plus 180 that is 360 longitudes that means how many local times can we have now remember each longitude passes in front of the sun at a time and each longitude it's not a thin line okay it's a huge chunk of earth huge part of earth so each longitude takes about four minutes to pass in front of the sun okay so therefore the local time now if suppose uh, in india suppose here in pune okay it is say four o'clock in the evening okay the longitude 
to the east of Pune will be 4 past 4. 4 minutes past 4. One longitude to the west of Pune will be 4 minutes to 4. Not yet 4. Okay, so imagine for each longitude, the time differs by 4 uh, minutes. And there are total 360 longitudes. So there are total 360 local times. Now what is local time? The time at that particular longitude okay is considered to be as its local time as each longitude comes in front of the sun one by one one after the other each one will have a different time and each longitude takes four minutes to pass in front of the sun so that is what we need to keep in mind that's the basics about local time okay what is standard time i will explain to you very very soon now now this activity says big boy in assam Okay, there's a question here. Arun called his mother from Big Boy. Now, Big Boy is in Assam. The longitude is not given. Okay, here. But normally when this type of question comes, the longitude will be given. Okay. So, Big Boy in Assam is at 96 degrees east while he is contacting his mother in Jaisalmer. Okay, that is in Rajasthan. And Jaisalmer is situated at 70 degrees east. Now, for Arun in Assam, it is 7 a.m., 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay, now at what time, local time, will his mother pick up his call at Jaisalmer? Now, will it be past 7 for uh, uh, his mother at Jaisalmer or will it be before 7? Yes, Assam is to the east, Jaisalmer is to the west. So, when the place is to the west, they will be behind time. Okay, so it will be yet, not yet 7. So, how many hours difference, how many minutes difference, We how will we calculate? Let's understand that. Now, what we need to do is, we need to find out between Big Boy in Assam and Jaisalmer in Rajasthan, how many longitudes are there. Okay, how will we get that? So, 96 minus 70. Because Assam, Big Boy is at 96 degree and uh, Rajasthan, Jaisalmer is at 70 degrees. So 96 minus 70 and that gives us 26 total longitudes. Now we have, we have just learned that for each longitude it takes 4 minutes to pass in front of the sun. So for 26 longitudes how much time will it take? So what you do is 26 into 4. And that makes it 104 minutes. Now, 104 minutes we need to divide by 60 to find out how many hours. Okay, so therefore we did 104 divided by 60 and we found out that it comes to 1 hour 44 minutes. That means Jaisalmer is 1 hour 44 minutes behind uh, Dig Boy in Assam. So, if Arun calls his mother from Big Boy at 7 a.m. Okay, you have to minus 1 hour 44 minutes now. Go backward and the time at Jaisalmer now will be uh, because it is uh, 1 hour 44 minutes behind. Arun calls his mother at 7 a.m. But at Jaisalmer it is only 5.16 minutes. Sorry, 5.16 a.m. Okay, so 1 hour behind. So, for 1 hour behind means 6 o'clock and more 44 minutes behind, almost say 45 minutes. So, what, what will be the time then? 5.16 or 5.15. Okay, so that is how we calculate the actual time at a particular longitude. What we did for it, let's quickly revise. Okay, we need to know the two longitudes because the activity next on the next page is related to that. So, find out two longitudes minus and find out how many longitudes are in between here we did 96 minus 70 and we realize that there are 26 longitudes in between these two places each longitude take, takes four minutes so 26 longitudes will take 26 into four minutes so we get the answer in minutes it's not easy to calculate the time when it is in minutes so we convert it into hours we know that 60 minutes make one hour so we divide the answer now 104 by 60 minutes and that's how we get 1 hour 44 minutes now it's easy for us to go back 1 hour from 7 o'clock 1 hour behind means 6 o'clock and another 45 minutes behind means it is 5 15 or 5 16 in the morning i hope this is very very clear okay because if this is clear then you will be able to understand the remaining part of communication in brazil very very easily Okay, so I will stop here because uh, 
you need to digest this little part first so i'll see you soon thank